Welcome back. Restaurant Week begins in Kansas City tomorrow. It's a time when people can really sample some of the city's best restaurants at an amazing price. Capitol Grill is just one restaurant participating. Their executive chef, Ray Kaminsky, is here with us right now. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. All right, what are we cooking today? Well, we're going to show you one of the dishes that we're mm -hmm. featuring tomorrow um, for Restaurant Week. It is a tornado's of beef with a little bit of marinated heirloom tomatoes. Okay, what is so, a tornado for folks out there that do not know? Petite filet mignon. It's a petite filet, yeah, so folks. We, we're doing little four ounce filets. Mm -hmm. You get two of them on an order. Which is great. Um, it's I mean, a, and it's yeah. a great deal. Yeah, it is a really good deal. Okay, so let's this get is just one of them. So I'm going to show you the marinade. Mm -hmm. um, the recipe is on the website, so if you need, have any questions or anything like that, you can go back to that. Now, the recipe does say use a high speed blender. Um, you don't have to use a high speed blender okay. if you don't have to. I chopped all the ingredients pretty small, mm -hmm. um, and then we have to marinate it overnight. So okay. we're going to start with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, okay. um, about a cup. You're just going to, it's going to be, when we get done with this marinade, it's almost more like a pesto than actual marinade. It's going to be really thick with a lot of herbs and seasonings and stuff like that. I like that. the sound of that. Um, a little crushed red pepper for a little bit of heat. Okay. Um, and then we have some finely grated Parmesan cheese. We use a microplane, which really grades it really fine. This is going to coat the steak, so when we cook it, it's going to make a nice crust on the outside. Oh, it smells delicious. A little delicious. bit of Worcestershire. Mm -hmm. Some fresh chopped uh, Italian parsley. Italian parsley is a flat leaf type of parsley. Okay. As opposed to the curly leaf parsley. Some fresh minced garlic. So you're going to put the garlic in. I yep. love that. A little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then um, a little bit of chives. There you go. So you see how thick and rich this mm -hmm. is? And then I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. That's interesting to add sugar. Yeah, because what we want to do is we want to uh, form a crust mm -hmm. so the cheese and the sugar go together, caramelized outside the steak. So and this again, is the, And you have to make it the day before, folks. Yeah, you can. Obviously, here we're not going to, but mm -hmm. then you'll just take your little four ounce fillets that we have here um, and marinate them. You're just going to kind of rub them down really well. Get that nice coating. Yeah, okay. and it's going to marinate in your fridge overnight. You see how thick this is? Oh, it looks great and it smells and I, great. Yeah, and obviously after 12 to 24 hours, those flavors are going to really get inside that little steak. Okay. Where do you get your steaks from? Um, we get them from a local provider on here called National Beef. They're based out of Kansas City. The, oh, great. The cattle's from the four state area. Mm -hmm. um, but you can get them McGonagall's or something like that. So okay. we'll let these marinate in the fridge overnight. Um, we'll say they've overnighted. Now all you have to do is you can either pan sear these, you okay. can do them on your barbecue, you can do them underneath your broiler. Um, these are little four ounce fillets. They're about an inch thick. So if you're looking at medium rare, you're looking about three minutes, two and a half to three minutes per side. Per side, okay. Um, and then obviously adding time to that if you want a little bit uh, more done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And then what so do we have the, here? Now we're going to make the salad that goes on top of it. Some okay. fresh tomatoes. We're using a little gourmet medley, a little heirloom tomato mm -hmm. mix. Okay. And then we're going to do a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. A little um, white soy sauce. Now white soy sauce is made with 100% wheat and there's no additives. That's why it's still white. It's aged in oak barrels. So it gives a unique wow. flavor but doesn't discolor your food. Michael, do you want to come on in? Oh, yes. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil some chives, and some chervil. Chervil is another little herb similar to parsley, but a little bit more delicate. And you just layer it right on at the end? Yeah, and this is, okay. this is pretty much, I would do this about a half hour in advance. Room temperature for about four hours you can keep this. Okay. We never refrigerate tomatoes. We want to keep them all, you know, nice and room temperature. And again, we so, want to recommend that folks come visit you and all the other restaurants that are participating in Restaurant yeah. Week because the deals are so amazing. Yeah, $30, $30 for a three-course meal at Capital Grill. Three so, course I know. Meal. Amazing. And your lunch is like 15 bucks. $15 at lunch. So you can try an amazing dish like this one. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much for coming you. out on the show. Right. Everything looks absolutely so, delicious. Smells so good. Oh. All right, coming out tomorrow, we're